Eti chini, please. Um, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior and National Administration and your peers, the Governor of the Great City of Nairobi, the Inspector General of Police and our two Deputy Inspector Generals, senior police officers, the commandant of this college, family and friends of graduates, and the graduates standing before me. Good afternoon. This is an auspicious day for many people in Kenya. It is memorable for the families and for you graduates who have successfully completed this recruit course. It is also a historic day for Kenya's policing institution and good news for the people of Kenya whose legitimate demand for better security, more effective and professional, dynamic and modern police services are being answered by your passing out this afternoon. It is also a day of tremendous assurance for the government of Kenya, which recognizes that our rights, freedoms, lives, livelihoods, belongings, and all hope of prosperity are literally in the hands of the policemen and women who continue to bravely take selfless stand and keep the people safe and secure. I therefore join the families and the college community in celebrating the cohort which has successfully completed the course, thereby embarking on a life and career dedicated to the high calling of policing our nation. You have satisfied the college staff and instructors that you are fit to serve in your next assignment and are ready to serve your nation and its people with distinction, honor, and patriotism. You have also demonstrated to the satisfaction of the commandant and the course instructors, as well as the staff of this college, that you have acquired the skills and discipline required to play your role in injecting fresh and modern approaches to the practice of the novel profession of policy. We do not take this milestone for granted, and on behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, I congratulate you on your selfless and fine achievement. I urge you to always take the spirit of flawless coordination, which enables you to display unity of command, discipline, and harmony in executing today's spectacular parade. Your performance on the field before us is symbolic of your promise of excellence in professional service delivery in order to meet the high expectations of citizens that their rights, freedoms, and interests are at all times in safe hands. You go forth to serve in an increasingly complex and dynamic security environment with diverse novel threats emerging on a continuous basis to compound ordinary crime and chronic security challenges. It is our legitimate expectation that you are ready to face the challenges head on in a skillful, efficient, and effective manner, thereby safeguarding the necessary environment for Kenyans to pursue their aspirations and achieve shared prosperity as a nation. I urge you to be ever mindful of your immense responsibility to dedicate all your service to the observance of your oath of allegiance, your standing orders, 
the Constitution, and all the laws of the land. Furthermore, I remind you of the government's commitment to realize a new policing paradigm underpinned by a citizen-centered, service-oriented approach to the provision of security and maintenance of law and order. This paradigm also respects and upholds integrity, fundamental human rights, and constitutional freedoms, human dignity, and our determination as a nation to pursue sustainable development as an open and democratic society. As pertains to the Constitution, therefore, I particularly call on you to be mindful of the national values and principles of governance to serve as your professional anchor. The need for modernization arises from the constantly evolving complexity of contemporary security challenges. Technology and globalization has enabled antisocial characters and criminal networks to threaten society in more dangerous ways over a fast international range. It is important for every police professional to rise to this challenge by acquiring insights to empower them in an understanding complicated and sophisticated criminal and security threats and skills that enable them to work effectively with modern technology and modern equipment. We are determined to deliver security in all parts of Kenya without sacrificing fundamental rights and freedoms. A more autonomous, professional and better resourced police service whose members enjoy conducive terms of employment and conditions of service and have access to adequate welfare amenities will go a long way in facilitating this commitment that we have as a nation. We have liberated the police service from political and bureaucratic control by relocating the police budget from the office of the president to the office of the inspector general. Without autonomy, the police service is vulnerable to weaponization, making it a threat instead of an asset to challenges in our security and law and order sectors. We have also sustained the commitment to escalate the police to citizen ratio by recruiting and training more policemen and women on a continuous basis to ensure that Kenyans have access to responsive and effective police protection throughout the country. Furthermore, we have increased our investment in the provision of infrastructure, equipment, and technology for the police to improve their capacity to combat crime and protect Kenyans and their property. This includes the establishment of an ultra-modern forensic laboratory to enable our investigators solve complex crimes and keep bad elements off through effective prosecution. Additionally, we have enhanced coordination between various agencies in resolving crime and security threats while at the same time deepening the collaboration between the police services and communities. For this reason, it is important for every police officer, including you standing here before me today, to be mindful of the need to maintain relations of mutual respect with members of the public as a matter of necessity. This is because citizens are your employers. Citizens' rights and freedoms are constitutionally protected and also because cordial relations with the public enhances police capacity to keep citizens, their communities, and their properties safe. As regards the terms of employment, conditions of service and welfare of police officers, the Government of Kenya has undertaken a number of measures. I recently, for example, appointed a task force to review the conditions of service for the police 
and prison officers whose report and recommendations shall chart a clear and actionable path, path to significant improvement of the terms of service and employment of our policemen and women and prison officers. Also, the provider of comprehensive health insurance cover has been competitively contracted to ensure that all police officers and their families have, ha have access to high quality medical services, including mental health and psychosocial support. Finally, we have identified police officers as priority beneficiaries of the affordable housing projects in order to ensure that members of the service lead dignified lives in clean, spacious, safe, and secure houses and neighborhoods. Kenyans are committed to meet their part of the bargain by ensuring that their government facilitates members of the police service to be ready and capable of protecting them. For this reason, I urge the graduates, as well as members of the service, assembled here to reflect on their part of this contract and commit to do their utmost in delivering on it. Kenya's neighborhood of the Horn of Africa continues to face various security challenges. War, armed conflict, and civil strife has led to the collapse of law and order in various parts of our region. The cross-border spillover of this crisis has saddled our security sector with a burden of illicit firearms among civilian populations sustaining banditry, cattle rustling, and other threats to life, property, peace, and security. Kenya continues to seize every opportunity to restore peace and stability in affected countries and regions through peacekeeping deployments and robust diplomatic efforts. We shall not relent in this quest until our brothers and sisters in the Horn of Africa as well as East Africa enjoy peace, stability, and prosperity. The time has come for us to decisively engage so as to eradicate banditry and cattle rustling within our borders. I am confident that our police services now have what it takes to execute this critical assignment. And I have given firm instructions to the ministry to support all our men in uniform to ensure that we eradicate banditry and cattle rustling. And I want to say without equiv equivocation that this is the administration that will get rid of the menace that has been a challenge to Kenya for many years. As I conclude, I reiterate the high expectation that Kenyans have in you. You should have no difficulty whatsoever in meeting them by serving them with discipline, dignity, courage, firmness, but also fairness. After your graduation today, you will join your colleagues in the high calling to serve all Kenyans in keeping with the police service motto, Utumishi Kwa Wote. Na ningependa kuchukua na fasi hii, vile vile kuwapongeza, kuwashukuru, na kuwauliza wakati munaondoka hapa siku ya leo, ni watume na mambo mawili. Ya kwanza, ni watume na salamu nyingi kutoka kwangu kwa familia zenu, wazazi wenu, jamaa zenu, na mahali kote mnatoka katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tafadhali munibebe salamu zangu kwa mahali popote mnatoka katika taifa letu la Kenya. Jambo la pili, na wauliza kwa sababu mtakuwa na muda wa karibu mwezi moja nyumbani naomba kila mmoja wenu 
tusaidiane kama taifa kila mmoja wenu apande miti kule nyumbani at least miti 30 kila mmoja wenu na pia mupashe hiyo habari kwa ndugu zenu ambao walifanya pass out kesho na wale nitawafanyia pass out uh, wale walifanya uh, pass out jana na wale nitawafanyia pass out kesho na vile vile katika jambo hilo hilo la mambo ya mazingira tunajua tuko na changamoto kubwa ya mambo ya mazingira katika ama mazingira katika taifa letu la Kenya na duniani kote nimeuliza komanda wetu ama commandant wa hii campus pamoja na ile ya kule kwa GSU na wale watu wote ambao wanafanya katika sekta ya security katika mji wetu wa Nairobi kwamba hiyo sekta yote na wauliza mtupandie miti milioni kumi hapa Nairobi kwa sababu nyinyi mnakaa hapa Nairobi kwa hivyo bwana commandant wale vijana watakuja hapa baada ya hawa kuondoka wakuje na kuanza kupanda miti katika college hii college hii iko na miti chache Islands iko na miti chache nauliza wanajeshi askari wetu wa polisi askari wetu wa prison wanaoishi hapa Nairobi watusaidie kupanda miti milioni kumi hapa Nairobi wakiungana na kaunti yetu ya Nairobi chini ya governor wetu mheshimiwa Sakaja nimemuuliza ya kwamba washirikiane na wizara yetu ya mambo ya mazingira vile vile na Kenya Forest Service mutapatiwa seedlings ama miche ya miti ndio mtusaidie kupanda miti hasa katika sehemu hii mnayoishi ya Islands naamini ya kwamba tumekubaliana tutaenda hivyo na nataka kusema jambo langu la mwisho kwenu Paulo katika Biblia alimwambia Timotheo katika Timotheo moja ama Timotheo ya kwanza moja mstari wa mbili ya kwamba usikubali mtu adharau ujana wako na waambia askari wetu sote tumekubaliana kazi ni kazi ile mimi nafanya kama rais ile wewe utaenda kufanya kama askari ile inafanyika pale na fundi akitumia nyundo ama akitumia randa ile inafanywa pale ofisini na yule anatumia kompyuta yule anafanya pale katika kiwanda akitumia jerahani hiyo yote ni kazi na ni majukumu ambayo kila mmoja wetu inafaa tutekeleze kwa uzalendo tukijua ya kwamba ni mchango wetu katika kutengeneza Kenya yenye itatufaa sisi wote na nawauliza ya kwamba musikubali na mimi kama kiongozi wa taifa sitaruhusu mtu yeyote kudharau kazi ya mwenzake sote tunachangia katika kutengeneza Kenya moja na hakuna mmoja wetu asiyekuwa na umuhimu kila mmoja wetu wako na mchango wake kila mmoja wetu wako na sehemu yake ya kufanya kazi na usipofanya ile kazi unafanya Kenya itakuwa inarudi nyuma na waomba kwa unyenyekevu ya kwamba sote tuungane na kila mmoja wetu afanye sehemu ambaye ako naye ya kazi kwa uadilifu kwa kujitolea kwa bidii ili tuweze kutengeneza taifa ambayo itatufaa sote with those many remarks my dear graduates i pray for you and your families as you embark on serving the nation 
May the Almighty God protect you and bless the work of your hands. And may he grant you the wisdom and fortitude to serve with distinction, even when you are faced with challenges and dangerous situations. On behalf of the government of Kenya and the people of Kenya, I wish you success in your service. Mungu abariki na mungu abariki taifa letu la Kenya asante ni sana. Shukran za dhati mwishmi wa rais na yote tunahidi ya taweza kutimezwa. Parade Commander.